Look at this. He says here, and the tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity, so the tongue is among our members that it defiles the whole body and sets on fire the course of nature. You hear that? The tongue can determine the course. Do you get that? So what you're saying will determine the course of, your, of nature, of your life, of where you're going. Your tongue will determine where you go. Why? Because what you think about, you talk about, what you talk about, you get. What you get, you have to live in, and that sets the course. Now, notice he said the tongue sets the course, as we would say here. Well, what's he saying? The tongue's a rudder. It sets the course of your life. How you angle or set your tongue is how your life is going to go. So you should set your tongue in accordance with the Word of God and say what he has said. Right? Not, not say what the news says. Not say about the flu epidemic or this thing or that thing, but instead saying what he has said. What has he said? <clears throat> By his stripes you were healed. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. <clears throat> and when you start saying that, how many of you know as soon as you set the rudder, how many of you know all of a sudden the boat doesn't take off that direction a lot of times? Sometimes it takes a little bit of time to get the thing turned around and get it going right, right? Yeah. Well, so if you're sick, but you don't want to be sick, and you want to live in divine health, then the first thing you got to do is you got to start changing the rudder of your tongue to set the course of your life. And you say, but I'm sick. How can I say I'm well? Well, God says you're well. That's how you say it. And God can't lie. So if God says you're well and he can't lie, then if you say what he said, you're not lying. Unless you don't believe it. Now, if you don't believe it, maybe you're lying. But it's still truth. Even if you don't believe it, it's still true. Right? Right? And so, as I said before, this is the most important principle I've learned in my Christian life. Yeah. The number one thing. This has determined how our life, our ministry, everything has gone is because I understood this principle early on and started putting it into practice. Amen. And it was, it was a slow turn, but, and it didn't just take off all of a sudden. My life didn't change overnight and everything. But I started changing the course of my life, and it took a little bit of time because I had... Now, listen, just because you change the rudder doesn't mean you change it one time and you leave it there. You have to constantly tend to that thing and to set the course and to adjust the course. Why? Because you learn. So when you start, maybe you're sick, but you start saying what God has said, you're set in the course. But it may take a little while. You know, just because you set the course don't mean you're there. So it takes you a little while to get there, right? So when you, maybe you're sick and you start setting your course to be able to say, okay, I'm going this direction. I'm heading, right now I'm sick, but I'm heading toward health. So I'm setting the course, and as I change my tongue, I'm altering the course of my life, but I'm heading toward health. Doesn't mean you got there instantly, right? Maybe you got healed, and then you got sick again, and you got healed, and you get sick again. And maybe it kind of, you know, you're constantly kind of back and forth. But if you set the course, you set the rudder, then you're heading toward divine health. And then you get there, and you get closer and closer. How do you know when you get closer to your objective, to your destination, it starts coming clear? And the clearer it gets, the more excited you get about being there. And here it comes. Oh, look, we're closer and we're closer. And so you start walking in this. And the good thing is that when you start walking in it, all of a sudden you're, you're healthy more than you're sick. And then you start looking and going, you know what? This is working. And then you, because now you're seeing it too, now you're talking correctly and you're talking health more than you're talking sickness. Amen. See, nothing breeds success like success, Right? And so you get this momentum going, and you can get it going in the spirit realm. But you have to start somewhere. So, and Dr. Leaf, as, as well as others, have proven that if you want more glial cells, all you have to do is stop for one minute and say, I want new glial cells. And just think at that moment, I'm going to produce new glial cells. And as you're thinking that, now this is science. This, is, this isn't, you know, just religion, Okay. This is science. Now, unfortunately, you'll believe it when I tell you it's science, but you didn't believe it when James said it because James said the same thing. But now, if, so if you stop, your brain produces more glial cells just by you deciding to produce glial cells. Now, but you have to say, now notice, if you're going to stop and do it, you're going to think. When you think, I want more glial cells, how are you thinking in words? So you're still saying. What do you say? For she said within herself. So you can say within yourself and it's still saying. Yeah. Right. Is that right? Yeah. So when you say within yourself, I want new glial cells, your body immediately produces new glial cells. Now the Bible says you can turn your whole body, not just your glial cells around. Yeah. 
So you can actually turn your entire body around. So if there is disease or anything else in your body, you can turn your body around by simply thinking it, deciding it, and saying, this is what's going to happen. I'm going to have health in my body. Now, what basis do you have for that? By his stripes you were healed. Do, do you get this? This is science. It is, it is uh, you know, Christianity, but it is scientifically proven now. And that's the sad part is that whenever it was in the Bible and people were preaching it, many people wouldn't believe it. But now that Caroline Leaf comes out with it and it's science, now they believe it. So are you really believing God or are you believing science? So at some point you have to decide you're going to choose to believe God. So you can turn your whole body. Do you know that most of what you need done is produced out of your pineal gland? That's a little bitty pea-sized thing. It, it, you know, we would say it's your real brain. So really you are a pea brain. But anyway, it's, it's, <laughs> yeah, but there's a little bitty thing right kind of in the center of your brain that produces and causes everything else to kind of produce. And so... You, if, if you could, by your words, your thoughts, what you're doing, you can direct it toward the pineal gland. You can actually cause the pineal gland to produce the right substances that would change your body. Absolutely. You can change your whole body. I don't care what part of your body is giving you problems. You can change it by simply deciding for it to change because God made you that way. Now, get it. He didn't do that because you're Christian. He made you that way as a human, but now he is telling you to turn your brain around and use it for him, and he will empower you. So now can you not only do what a human can do, you can do it through the power of God, Amen. which means it happens quicker, faster, better, and when it's done, it's perfect because I'm going to add a scripture in here. The last scripture is this. The blessing of the Lord maketh rich and addeth no sorrow. Amen? Maybe we'll talk more about that later. Did y'all get anything out of this this morning? Amen. Amen. Amen.